PC flux and heat sink dispenser. So even if that plunge is all the way up, it will still fit in there. We'll have to take this off. Just make sure that we can see this. pressure builds up. There's quite a bit of air in here but basically as you press down here this pushes forward. There's a bit of a ratchet in here but this also stops this bending down this pusher. So you can see roughly how that works. Hopefully. Right, I think that's Got some pressure on it now, it's reached. So basically, and you can see some heat sink pierce coming out. You want to want a bit more, just squeeze, squeeze a bit. this, let me pull that back, I don't want to waste all my heat sink paste, so I'm not going to push out any more than that, you can see that it works reasonably well for heat sink paste, now this is flux, it's like solder flux, now this is a lot more viscous, so it takes quite a bit more pressure, so that fits in there, so you have to move the you have to move the thing down quite a bit. Well, normally you'd have a needle on here which would probably give you even more control. This is where this, make sure that's like ratcheted on. This is where this push down thing really comes into its own. So on here I'm having to hold it quite near this hinge part to get it to work because it's so viscous this or it's been used so much. If you had a needle on here you'd probably have more control. Oops, see what I mean. The press here this just basically bends. See that can bend quite a bit. That's just PLA. And that I'll just do one more just to show you. You have to make sure this is hooked on on here. And a bit closer. So I've got some control there but for the flux pace I'm, as I say I'm having to hold it quite far up here near the hinge mechanism otherwise this, this just bends. Okay I'll show you that that can that can push all the way down. Take that over there put it about here and then it, can, it can even push right down to here even past that limit so to speak at the end so that's basically it and as I say this is a little bit of a like ratchet on this um, thing here so that won't easily slide back it could slide back a bit sometimes but not easily and that is also to stop this bending when you put when this puts pressure on it stop it bending so much because i found it did bend in the early iterations okay i'll put the files online it's quite big but this one but it seems to work I mainly want it for solder paste actually because I haven't got a solder paste sort of thing now. Can you uh, can you put this somewhere and park it so to speak? Probably not. Can't really put it in a bag. Well you probably could put it in a bag, put a elastic band around it or something. 
the regional person who did the first one of these um, did have an elastic band around here to keep this close. I don't think that's really needed, I don't know. I'll just do one more push with this solar paste. As I say, if you had a needle thing on, it would probably be a lot better. And then when you're finished, I would say lift, lift up the, lift up the uh, latchet, the pole, put the lever down. And there we are, just the elastic band around that. I'll keep that okay, I think. So there's my iteration, my remix of this solder paste dispenser heat sink paste dispenser thermal grease they call this HY H, HY510 